Okay, this is Digital Doodle video number three. All right, and what we want to do in this video is um, implement drawing on the screen. So that's our goal to draw on the screen. Um, and so here we go. Here's what we want to do. Um, first of all, we want to do a little version control. We're on Digital D Doodle 2020 and it works. Um, we can load it up in our companion app by pressing connect and then uh, the AI companion. We can do all that and it works. It takes a picture. Um, so what we want to do is save our progress. Basically how you do this is you click on my project and then you click save project as. This is different from save project because we want to create a new version. So I'm going to call this digital doodle 2020 underscore one. All right. So this is my first. Uh, well, I already got a, that one in my trash, so I'm going to call it two. Um, all right. So here we go. And so we're creating a new project called in this case, it'll be digital doodle 2020 underscore two because I already threw out underscore one because I had the video in the last uh, video and it, and it stopped working. So, okay, so here's what we wanna do. All right, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my, nope, not the emulator. I wanna open up the AI companion. All right, and I'm gonna get this thing started here um, so that we can scan the QR code. All right, there we go. All right, so that's loading up. And uh, so what we want to do here, whoops, yeah, there we go, it's working. Um, what we want to do is to be able to draw on the picture that we take inside of our app. All right, so here is our app. Okay, very good. All right, so we take a picture um, and hey, say cheese. All right, there we go. And now we want to be able to draw on this. So you can't see it, but I can touch the screen and I want to try to draw on the picture. So how do we do that? Okay, um, let's get into it. So if you're following along with your book, all right, it tells you uh, that Canvas has all kinds of fun stuff that we can play around with. So if we click on Canvas, these orange things, these are the events and these are user interface events. So dragged is when you touch the screen with your finger and then you drag your screen finger across the screen. Flung is when you touch the screen and then you move your finger really fast. Um, touch down is when you touch the screen. Touch up is when you release. And touched means that uh, this is activated anytime you are holding your finger down on the screen. The purple things are, are things you can do um, on a canvas. So you can clear the canvas, you can draw arcs and circles, you can draw lines and shapes and points and text, all kinds of stuff you can draw. You can save it as uh, different types of files. You can set background pixel colors. And then we have all these accessors, getters and setters for the different properties of the canvas object. So what we want to do here is we want to draw a line. Okay. The line we want to draw is from X1, Y1 to X2, Y2. Okay, so that's where your finger starts and then you want to go until your finger stops. Okay, um, so this is what we want to do. Now, when we want to do it is the event we need to pull out. So the event is dragged. So when we're dragging our finger on the canvas, we want to draw a line. So if we take our canvas and we draw a line and we click it up in here, then this is where we can draw our line. So what we want to do now and a canvas dragged has lots of parameters, okay? Um, we have start, okay? Well, I wish this would stop popping up like that. Um, we have the start and uh, start X, start Y. Uh, we have, I'm just gonna kind of mouse along underneath here. Uh, previous X and previous Y. We have current X and current Y, and we have dragged any sprite, okay? So we want to start our line X1, Y1, where our finger starts. So that's start X and then get the getter, okay? And then start Y and grab its getter. Um, although that was previous X, so I'm gonna put that down here. Nope, 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 this is right. I don't want to start, I want, because start is the start of the drag. I actually want to use the previous. Okay, so I want previous X and previous Y. Ah, okay, and, uh, and then I want current X and current Y. That's where I want to draw to. Oh boy. So I'm on, I'm on my tablet and 
There we go. Goodness. Um, so I, I might recommend getting a mouse here um, to make this easier because I'm having some trouble trouble with my uh, just the uh, the touchpad. All right. So anyway, there it is. All right. And um, you'd think that you might need to do more than that, but if you pick up your tablet, um, which is still running, okay, it's been running this whole time while we made changes, you actually notice that I can start to draw on the tablet. And that's all the changes I need to make. I didn't need to make any more changes than that, just to drag out um, this canvas, this dragged object, and then set up the draw line method and boom, all of a sudden I'm drawing a line on uh, the screen. Now you can play around here. Um, instead of previous X and previous Y, let's see what happens if we put in start X and start Y. So we're just gonna modify this code here. All right? this is part of programming, all right? Part of programming is to play around and see what happens as you change different things, all right? So now what happens, okay? Look at that, oh, that's kind of cool. So why is it radial like that? It's because the line is drawing from where I originally touched and then it's moving to where my finger goes. Uh, so that's kind of fun, different fun shapes there. All right, so all kinds of fun things that we can do here, just trying out different um, stuff. Um, so, but if I go back here, previous X, previous Y. So what are some other things that we have there in the canvas? Well, we have like, let's see, uh, let's see. Let's try set paint color. All right, so let's do set paint color. And then let's drag it in and put it above this purple one. And now set paint color to, um, and we need a variable. Hmm. Oh, here's our colors block. So over here, so colors. Um, so let's uh, do bright green. Okay, so just if I add just that code, and I come back to my app. All right, now what happens? Okay, so, oh, look at that. Okay, so, whoa, what's going on there? That's kind of fun. Um, oh, ha. There we go. I got my X's and Y's backwards. All right, so oh, now it's working. Oh, but that was pretty cool, that effect of just putting the X and Y backward. That created a really cool effect here. Let's clear this real quick. Uh, let's take a different picture. All right, there we go. Uh, so now we have a new one that I can draw on. All right, oh man, I'm, look, I'm looking great. So let's draw some sunglasses, a little mustache, okay, and a wizard's hat. All right, so there you go. Okay, so this is kind of cool. All right, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. This is Digital Doodle, all right, step three, um, and we're drawing on our, uh, on our picture.